This Trish figure is the worst female figure of all time for Mattel. What is that? What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are in for a interesting one. And we're not talking about the bright side of things. We're talking about the worst of the worst, or at least in my personal opinion. We've seen some doozies over the, over the years, man. We've seen some big doozers. Sometimes we get some figures from AEW and Jazzwares and WWE and Mattel that are just fantastic and bring the characters to life. But sometimes, Brad, they're on the other end of that spectrum, and they are absolutely god off. And today, man, we're going to be diving into my least, my personal least favorite figures in my entire action figure collection. Now, I ran through the mill. I ran through every single figure in my collection. And I tried to narrow it down to the worst of the worst, in my opinion. Like, things that I look at that make my blood boil or that upset me greatly. And if they're not included in this video, it means that I didn't see them. Because I analyzed every single figure in my collection. And I call myself bringing attention to every single one and trying to dissect it. And I'm sure I missed some. I'm sure people in the comment section below are going to say, What about this figure? You said you hated this figure or you despised this figure? And I'm sure that's going to happen. I guarantee I missed a few because honestly this is kind of a small collection of figures but today we're gonna spend some time I guess if I run into more I could make an episodic series about it but these figures right here piss me off quite frankly so with that being said man let's dive into my personal least favorite wrestling action figures in my collection or I guess it doesn't really matter about wrestling I didn't really do any other collections in my in my stratosphere but this is specifically wrestling figures let's shut the hell up and get into it starting out first man let's just get into these bucks here these young buck figures are so lifeless man i am just blown away by these figures right here man no wrist tape they just move around awful honestly it's it's mainly matt over here i mean look at his neck son where is your neck madman Look at him. The gear, and I'm a Lakers fan, man. The gear just doesn't come across well. The lack of wrist tape and accessories. I think they came with an entrance coat. These things just don't look good, man. These figures do not look good. These are easily my least favorite bucks we've seen. They are just, like, look at this Matt Jackson, son. Look at it. Look at all that hair. For what? Look at that big hair piece. This looks like a Jax figure, man. I don't like them. Mm-mm. Don't like them. Next up, we are getting into Elite One Rey Mysterio. Now, a lot of people are like, MDT, that is Elite One Rey Mysterio. I love that figure. It's iconic. And you know what, Brad? You're actually right. Historically, import, you know, not a terrible figure for Elite One. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I personally do not like this figure for one reason, man. Look at this right here. He can go out that way. Look, look at his kick forward, bro. Doesn't even exist. The pine cone joints feel like this figure is going to snap in half in the blink of an eye. It's not good, man. And the same thing goes with this Mark Henry. Now, I, I dislike the Mark Henry for other reasons as well. I just don't feel like it really captures how big he is. I feel like that's a big issue with the Mark Henry figures. But then also, he has loose ankles, and he also, his legs just feel so stiff like they're going to snap. And I know that Mark Henry is not Ricochet, okay? I understand that. It makes perfect sense to me. But, yeah, this, uh, it, it really pisses me off the way this figure. Like, look at this right here, dude. The way it just... Like, look at that. Mark Henry and Rey Mysterio figures from these eras specifically just make me want to vomit, and they want to break in half, and I don't like it. Next up, I know a lot of people are going to say, MDT, what the hell, bro? You got all these Demon Finn Balors up here. Okay, there's one reason specifically why these are up here, and we'll get into the different reasons on why these demons are up here, and then these demons are up here, okay? So, ever since the first Finn Balor released, I didn't have a channel when the first one released, but I was collecting, and it always made me sick how they always gave him the Daniel Bryan torso. When clearly one of like the big things about Finn Balor and his character and just the way he looks is his abs and his his torso, bro. He's a jacked individual. He has one of the best physiques I've ever seen on a human being. And to not get that across in his action figure, when usually action figures overcompensate how big someone is, is just ridiculous, you know? And then you're probably like, well, why the hell is the Jack Ripper Finn Balor up there? And why the hell is the Elite 98 up there? And the reason these are up here are because they decided, for a while, we got some banger Finn Balors. Like, this one, if it wasn't so inaccurate, this is one of the figures I was most looking forward to that year. And when it released, you can go back and watch my review, I was so disappointed in the lack of, like, paint detail and the way it looked that it just, it, it like, more of this one is more of, like, disappointment. And you'll see some disappointments in this, in this video. I don't think, I think we have one more disappointment. 
in the rest of the video, but this one and one more figure from a different company disappointed me so greatly that it made me vomit. The hat wasn't accurate and the face wasn't accurate. I had to completely repaint the face and the hat to make it more accurate. And again, we've had Finn Balor's with ripped up torsos before. We've seen that before and they had him the leg mold. So then they give us this new demon and he's got the ripped torso, but they gave him Daniel Bryan legs. Daniel Bryan legs. Go back and watch my review, man. I was so blood... When I, it, it's hilarious because we actually got the moment that I realized they used Daniel Bryan legs during the review. I have it captured on film when I when the epiphany happened and it just it really upsets me that one right there I, I that still doesn't make any sense so yeah the, there's a but I'm also very picky about Finn Balor I'm sure a lot of people look at these Finn Balors like oh they look great man look at the paint detail and look at Finn Balor demon but for me I personally Finn is one of my favorite wrestlers one of my favorite wrestlers ever and to have that happen in his figures it's you know I'm nitpicky about Finn Balor figures specifically so you know it's just a thing but yeah Finn Balor figures, man. We have had some uh, some banger demon Finn Balor's love. This next one. This right here. This Bray Wyatt ringside exclusive. You guys can kind of see. I only bought it one time, but you guys can see I took the head sculpt off. I took the shoes off. This figure right here, man is just, it's just, it's just, man. No sculpted sweater. The basic version of Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt. Miles better. Much, much better figure. The slacks, like, what do we do? No sculpted belt. It looks like he's wearing an Under Armour, like, it looks like he's playing football in the sixth grade and he's putting this long sleeve up under his jersey because he thinks it's going to make him warmer during the game. I just, I, I, look at the skin tight suit, the baggy slacks. He's tiny. Even without the head and shoes, man, he was literally tiny. He looked so tiny. I think we addressed it in the review. I can't remember, but this is one of my least favorite ringside exclusives of all time. I, oh boy, what a, what a horrible figure. Just, just lifeless. Speaking of horrible releases, we got the Elite 81 Rock figure in here. Also a shorty. Made him tiny compared to the real Rock. You have Angelo Dawkins. Made him a mountain for some reason. And then you have Velveteen Dream in this gear that nobody had seen before, which is a cool idea, which we'll get into that one. Let's start off with The Rock. I've since torso swapped it, didn't fix him, still looks like trash. Uh, I think in theory, good figure idea, but they always give Rock the torso that they should give Roman, probably. And then they flip-flop Rock. They give him the smaller torso when that should be more for his, like, Attitude Era figures. And then for his, like, more modern figures, which this is based on, they always give him the smaller torso. And it just makes no sense, bro. It makes no sense. It's just not good. I don't like this sweatpant mold they used for Shane McMahon. Maybe back then, but, uh, yeah, I just don't like this Elite 81 Rock. It is not good. And in that same daggum set, we got the Angelo Dawkins, and they just made this man massive. Just massive. And I don't think Angelo Dawkins is tiny by any stretch, but he's not Braun Strowman-sized torso. You know what I'm saying? Look at this Braun Strowman-sized torso. He's just overly massive. I hope they... I think he's in Elite Series 1 of 3. Maybe even at WrestleMania Access, we'll see a render or a figure image of him. I hope he gets redone very well and they redo his formula. They do not need to use this same formula, man. Like, And also, look how baggy the Degum shorts are and how big they are. I just think there was a much better way to execute Angelo Dawkins, and they let me down with this one. I, I And I love the Street Profits. That's probably why I'm so passionate about it. But that figure right there is not good. And then Velveteen Dream. So at the time of announced of this specific figure... We knew that uh, Velveteen Dream Elites were, was coming, and they didn't know what attire it was. So then when they revealed the figure, we were like, what am I looking at? Because they gave him this one-off torso. I don't think they've ever reused this torso before. Sculpted buttons, like this shirt with it. Like, it's very, it's like a, a bodysuit, but he had never worn this yet at the time of reveal. Or it was like the day after he wore it on NXT television. And they always made his torso overly jacked again. The Shelton Benjamin torso was much better. Hell, even the Kofi Kingston torsos of the past were better. They gave him this massive jack torso, and it's just, it's just a, it was a attire that nobody was expecting, and it was just like, what the hell am I looking at? He had so many great gears, and they just chose that one. It was just hilarious. Next up, Shield Kurt Angle. This figure right here, one of my least favorite wrestling moments ever. I hated that TLC main event. I hated that, you know, Kurt Angle, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He was coming back, and then he gets put in the shield gear, and then they make a figure based on the moment, and it's, it's a, it's just a, I just don't like it. it. It's hilarious. If you're a longtime member of the channel, maybe you remember this, maybe you remember everything that happened with this, but I drag this figure on the constant daily. This Trish figure, this Trish figure is the worst female figure of all time for Mattel. What is that? Not good, you know, just a, just a hideous looking piece. 
Looks nothing like Trish Stratus from the time. Very lifeless gear. Had a cool entrance coat, but same basic kick pads. You can see the belly button under the shirt. It's it's a very standard Trish Stratus, you know what I'm saying? It's not good. We have Jake Hager from Unrivaled Series 6. Kind of speaks for itself, you know. Uh, I replaced the head sculpt, so it's not as bad, but he looked like Abe Lincoln. Lance Archer, I just think that the torso and arms makes him look super skinny fat, and he looks very weird. And Lance Archer was a beast of a man. I just didn't like the way this looks. Aesthetically, it's just not good. I like the head sculpt, and I like the hair, but uh, I just think that he could have been done so much better, and this figure is in my least favorite figures I've ever seen. We have FTR here. I mean, goes goes without saying. Terrible head sculpts look nothing like them. The figures were very bland. Just not good execution of FTR. This Viscera figure, honestly, very good looking figure, but you can't even move him. I mean, he's basically a statue, which I guess he doesn't need to move that much. But look, you can't even, like, kick forward, really. And even to, like, sit down, the knee, like, is going to pop down. So, a great looking piece, just... Uh, can't move him around. I guess you could have done like a cloth over coat maybe or something. But I guess for a standalone piece it's not bad. But I just, I, I don't like figures that can't move. It really bothers me. This Jake the Snake, you're probably like, why the hell is this Jake the Snake in here? It's honestly because I think there's a factory error. I don't know if you guys figure does this, but this is specific to my collection. So, you know, your figures may be better than mine. But, like, why is his feet stance so wide? And then when I push it together, it just goes back out like that right there. So, another, like, pine, coin, pine cone joint issue. Uh, not very nice. I even tried to, like, heat it up and then keep it like this and pour cold water over it. Still doesn't work. It still wants to do this, like, weird mechanism. So that figure pisses me off. And last but not least, we have the holy grail of disappointing action figures in my entire life. I think this might rank at number one for my most disappointed figure ever, maybe. It's definitely up there when I think about it. But Luchasaurus was one of my favorite acts coming into AEW when it started. And when we saw this figure, I thought, oh my god, that figure is absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful figure. And it still is aesthetically one of the greatest action figures that AEW's ever made. Like, it's definitely top five aesthetically looking AEW action figure ever made. It just looks like a toyetic beast. I love the size of the arms, the torso, the mass sculpt. The Everything about Luchasaurus is captured in this figure. And I love Luchasaurus and how outside the box his look and character is. And then the execution of the figure and getting it in hand. Legs are loose. You can't bend the knee because of the fringe on the back of the knee pad and the fringe on the back of the kick pads. So when you bend his knee, it doesn't articulate whatsoever. I've since cut them off to see if that would help. Didn't. When he tries to stand up or do anything, his feet slide apart every single time. And he doesn't stand easy. And his feet cannot articulate up past that point. So he's just a walking pick-fed nightmare. He's a posing nightmare, man. And that's really the basis of it. But the figure, aesthetically, if you're just going to stick him on a shelf, looks fantastic. You couldn't fight him. You know what I'm saying? He looks amazing, but all these figures in this video piss me off to a high degree, and they're my least favorite. One thing I'd like to know is down in the comment section below if you guys can relate to any of these figures. I'm sure there'll be somebody down in the comment section below that loves a lot of these figures. There's probably some people down below that think that a lot of these figures are fantastic and what have you, and that's fine. I'm sure you may have some figures you dislike that I love, so I do apologize for that, but my lord, man. We've had some stinkers, but out of like, I have like 2,000 plus figures in my collection, and to have a small collection like this that I'm that passionately angry about, again, I may have missed some, and I probably could tear some other figures apart if I wanted to, but I feel like there's a great track record out there of fantastic figures, especially from both companies, and again, nobody's perfect, but these are my least favorite, these are the least of the least that I could find in my collection. Anyways, man, I want to know down below how you guys feel about your collection. And also, if you guys would like to join on as a patron member, huge shout out to our Patreon members, huge supporters of the channel. Appreciate you guys so very much. If you guys are interested in that, check out the links in the description below. We also have merch available at ProWrestlingTees.com. Check out the merch store over there. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed one. Leave me your thoughts on these figures and your personal least favorites down below. And I'll see you next time. We'll never back down. We will not relent.